my hint from the garden. So this afternoon's project is to get my pumpkins planted and this year I am planting over 20 varieties of specialty pumpkins to sell at the market. Now I am mainly growing these for the end of the season market that I do that's the end of September. It's called the Made and Found Midwest Market. I had a couple of videos on it last year. It was a huge success. It's in a small town called Anthon, Iowa and it's going to be bigger and better this year than last year. Last year I took cut flowers and a few miniature pumpkins. I sold out of everything in under three hours and so this year I'm taking three times the flowers and a lot of pumpkins. So that is mainly what I'm planting all these pumpkins for. So I thought it would be really fun to show you guys what I'm planting this year. Now I have a bunch of little miniature pumpkins that I probably won't get planted today, but these are all going to be trellised. So I'll probably do a separate video on that, but I wanted to go ahead and share these varieties with you guys. And I will put pictures up on the screen of everything when I go through these. Um, but the varieties that I am trellising are Hooligan, Jack B. Little, I have a mini harvest blend, Baby Boo, and Baby Bear. So those are going to go on a trellis that I have out in my cottage garden area. It's called a Titan Squash Tunnel. It's made to grow squash, so it definitely can hold many pumpkins. I probably will grow um, one strand of butternut squash or spaghetti squash on there too, but those are the varieties of the mini pumpkins that I'm growing. Now on to the fun ones. So I've already made all the labels for the pumpkins that I am growing. And I used a garden marker to label them. A garden marker works much better than a Sharpie because it does not fade over the summer and you'll be able to read them when you harvest it. So I'm just going to go through these in no particular order and then I'll show you where I'm planting them. So I have Sugar Pie, Connecticut Field, and Cherokee Bush. These are all orange varieties and these probably are the three normal varieties that I'm growing. Then I have Blaze, which is a smaller size pumpkin that is a yellow and orange stripe. Really, really pretty. I have, these are kind of hard to hold. I have Blanco, Sunlight, Autumn Frost, which I am really excited about this one. Then I have a few darker varieties. One of them is Black Cat. Oh, here's another Blaze. I'm gonna grow two hills of Blaze. The other one I'm growing two hills of is Hot Chocolate, which I saw Laura from Garden Answer plant last year, and I thought it was a really, really pretty color. I have Mint Prince. I'm growing two hills of Silver Edge. I think this one could be my favorite. We'll see how it actually grows. I have Moonshine, Winter Luxury, which will probably be another one of my favorites. I have Snowball and Casparita, which are both white varieties. Casparita I grew last year. It grew great, really high yield. I have Autumn Crown, and then two more dark ones, Midnight and Black Futsu. Hopefully I said that right. All right. So I am really excited about that variety of pumpkins. I think these are going to be great at the market. And a lot of these are pretty high yield producers from what I have read. Now I purchased some of these from Johnny's. Some of these are the Burpee brand, but a lot of these specialty ones came from an Etsy store called Blue Pumpkin, and I will link her store down below. All right, let me go show you where all of these are going. So this is the long bed that my pumpkins are going in. You may recognize this if you watched my previous video where I direct sowed my sunflowers because my first extension planting of sunflowers is right along the edge of this building here. I have 200 sunflowers planted. The pumpkins will be planted uh, four to five feet apart towards the front of the bed so they can vine out into my parking lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my tags placed in this bed four to five feet apart and then I'll show you how I'm amending the soil before I put them in the ground. Okay, so I have all of my markers placed. This entire bed has been amended with an organic raised bed mix, but I am going to put more nutrients in the hole when I plant the seeds. So I'm gonna dig the hole a few inches deep in the ground. 
I'm going to put a handful of composted manure in and a little Biotone starter fertilizer. Mix it around and then put in my seeds. And that is basically it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these planted. I think I might go ahead and make the holes and put the amendments in first and then dig through my seed packet because I don't really want the composted manure in with my seed packets. So I think I'm going to go through, do all of this first, and then plant my seeds. I should also mention I am putting about four to five seeds per hole. And then once I see how they germinate, I'll thin them out from there. Okay, all of my pumpkins are planted. I cannot wait to see how these come up. And hopefully I have a really good crop for the market. So I will make sure to keep you guys posted. I will be watering these at least twice daily um, because this area gets really hot and I do not want them to dry out. Pumpkins are such heavy feeders with nutrients and water that I really want to make sure that these are fed well throughout the season. So I'll make sure to keep you posted. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.